I want to show a build of a magnetic loop antenna that I've put together this morning. This is the previous box that I had, and I had it mounted on this pole. This pole is a, uh, well, the top is a uh, uh, window shade, a window shade roller, and um, the bottom is from a uh, tree cutter uh, device, and this uh, in, goes in here. This is actually a novelty uh, a baseball bat. Louisville Slugger that my son had and didn't use it. We got it at a baseball game. I put some, put some silicone uh, tape there to um, stop it from rattling around. And I also sunk a, um, sunk a uh, coupling nut, quarter-inch coupling nut, into the wood here with Gorilla Glue. And uh, that holds it for use on a tripod. This, is my, this was my previous uh, uh, pole that I used for this antenna. And although it is not metallic, which I thought was part of the problem with my SWR and things like that, it very well could have been, it is heavy. It's, it's, it's heavier, heavier than other stuff. And this, this uh, utility box here is certainly heavier than it needs to be. It's very robust, very solid, and it'd be better for an antenna. Now, I'm going to Sao Paulo, Brazil in, uh, tomorrow. So I needed to build something different. So I got this. This is an Ikea, some Ikea plastic box. Cost me 99 cents at Goodwill Industries here in the United States. We have a, it's a used goods store. Uh, American viewers would know what that is. Um, and this, I used this, uh, this is a 10 meter, I'm sorry, a 10 foot uh, loop. I'm going to just pull back from it. It's a 10-foot loop um, that tunes down somewhere around 5 megahertz. I don't know. I haven't worked on the bottom. Uh, it tunes down kind of low, and it goes up to about uh, 21 megahertz. So I'll be able to use it certainly from 40 meters down. One thing that I really uh, that I discovered digging through my junk box was this type of uh, clip. And this clip is a... Uh, it's just a... It's a, it's a clip that, that I had in my junk. I had several of them because I make tents and uh, sleeping bags and tarps and stuff like that. And this is a nylon uh, clip from that kind of stuff. There we go again, another view of it. What I like about it is it holds my coupling loop, which is this RG58U. It holds it nicely below the LMR400 um, uh, main loop of this uh, magnetic loop antenna. I really like that. Now, this is my coupling loop. It's RG58U. It's uh, approximately 12 inches in diameter. This is, uh, this is the material called Sugru, uh, Sugru from Japan. And uh, it seems to be working pretty well to seal up this joint here. Now, the, the center conductor is attached to the braid inside of here and the braid is not attached to anything back in here so that's the type of coupling loop this uses now right away we notice a problem this is metallic this is a metallic this is a um, this is a um, monopod a photographic monopod and it it folds down um, pretty small now inside of this IKEA box I use these bulkhead connectors right here uh, which I was very lucky to get, uh, you know, now that, uh, now that the old venerable old Radio Shack has gone out of business, um, there's nowhere to go to get stuff like this. And I got these connectors at a local uh, surplus store called Axeman. Thank you, Axeman. I had this capacitor, which I marked on hand. It rotates 360 degrees. I got it in Akihabara when I lived in Tokyo, and the, those things come through there. A little bit crooked on there. It sits on there a little bit crooked. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. It sits on there a little bit crooked. Um, it uses a gear reduction and an old vintage knob that I have right here that I happen to have on hand there. And there's a few. I mean, this, this is certainly not as robust. Uh, there's a problem there. I mean, that could be weaker there uh, where it screws onto the tripod. I will not be using this tripod 
uh, in Sao Paulo. And as I travel, it's too heavy and too big. And this antenna um, tunes pretty nicely. I haven't uh, haven't made any QSOs with it yet, but it, it, uh, here I have a nice uh, uh, I have a nice um, seven o five right there in the QRP uh, CW QRP band. It's giving me a nice dip in SWR. So this is my build uh, this morning that I put together. Uh, the, the, uh, it's a uh, 40 meter, let's call it that, 40 meter to uh, um, 15 meter or so uh, magnetic loop antenna, and it's pretty light. And I'll show, uh, I'll show some video of it collapsed. So the whole thing weighs in at uh, 1.35 kilograms or just a couple grams short of three pounds. I'm satisfied with that for travel. Let's see if we get any QSOs on this thing, however. When I get it up on the 35th floor of our uh, hotel in Sao Paulo, Brazil, who knows what the conditions will be like. Okay, this is the uh, antenna um, stowed. The about uh, 20 feet of RG58U. Weigh, with the control loop feeds uh, weighs in at 273 grams, 10 feet, three meters of LMR 400, weighs in at 378 grams. And this unit, the main uh, capacitor tuning unit, and sadly I must say metallic uh, pole that that uh, holds it is uh, 700 grams. And there it is all together. This is W0XO stroke QRP with this magnetic loop antenna. Not rugged, but pretty good for travel. Relatively compact and cheap. <laughs>